what's going on everyone? So Dave suggested that I play Mega Draft, but I can only pick cards that have evolutions. And like I said to him, this is going to be pretty uh, difficult because there's only so many cards with Evos. So, I mean, we're probably not going to get eight, but I guess we'll have to find out and see. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Right, he's going to go for Eye Drag. Let's take the Firecracker. And let's take the Ice Beer. Right, he's going to pick Baby D Mini Pekka. We're going to go for the Knight and the Bomber. All right, he goes Prince Poison. Uh, let's go for the Bart. And I know it's not technically evolved yet, but let's go for Zap. Alright, so there's no Evo cards left, so Dave just said to let the auto picker do its thing, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, let's see what we get. Okay, I mean, sure. I don't really need a big spell, but I'll take it, I guess. Medium spell. Okay, once again, just let an auto pick do its thing. Alright, here we go. What's the lucky number? Okay, you know... Minor? We'll take minor. We'll take minor. So overall, I think we got, what, five Evos in the game and another Evo that's going to be released. So pretty good, honestly. I was expecting a lot less. Uh, let's go for Ice Spirit and then Arts on top of this Battle Ram. Always refreshing to play Mega Draft. Like, I don't know why, but when I, when I like a thing, like really like a thing, like I can just do it and do it and do it and do it. And I just never get bored. It's, it's kind of fascinating. Like, there's things I like doing, but then I'll get bored of doing them. But if I really like something, then I just can never get bored of it, basically. I think Mega Draft is in that category. Now, Clash Royale and Mega Draft are two separate things. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I need to play Clash Royale to play Mega Draft. But I get bored of Clash Royale, but I usually don't get bored of Mega Draft. So. I don't know if anyone else is like that or not. But... Okay, it doesn't let the Firecracker to shot I me, mean, that's fine. I could just go Knight behind, okay. Just gonna go Bart's here and then go Knight for the Rascal and the Rascal Girls. And I guess you'd say Rascal Boy, not just Rascal, but no. Uh, can we. Nah, Meyer's not gonna come down in time. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but this, this game mode is just. I don't. It, it's just special. Like, I, I don't know what it is about it. Like, it is just truly a unique, special game mode. Like, is it the best game mode ever released? Maybe. Like, I don't know. Like now, nah, it has its flaws, you know. I'm not like, I'm not just gonna be here singing its praises. Like obviously, it does take too long. The starting hand is kind of an issue, but there's really no way around that. But I mean, like overall, it's it's pretty good. Like, there's not too many complaints. Okay, I'm not too sure what this guy's trying to do here. Um, <laughs> just gonna go firecracker like this. Pull the mini pack over. Okay, there's. There should be enough time, right, to go Bart's, right, right, right? Ah, <sighs> kind of painful. It is what it is. Okay, let's go Bomber in the back. Let's see what you want to do. Um, I don't think he's back to Ram, so I'm just going to Firecrack here. Okay, nice. Get some free chip damage from being a skilled player. I was kind of hoping that I would hit the Prince, but unfortunately it didn't. I'm just going to go Miner, like, back here. Let's go Bomber off to the side to pull the Eye Drag and then go Knight for the Prince. Okay, beautiful Bomber Kite. I didn't even intentionally do that, but we'll take it. Or you can just act like I did do that intentionally. I'm just being humble, but I really <laughs> I really wasn't. I'm just kidding, of course I didn't. I know I did. Uh, let's go Miner in the back. Okay, he did catch the Miner, so let's just start switching up the Miner placements now. Uh, I'm only one win in, and the uh, first match I had to cut short because got interrupted, but I mean, it's fine. So one win, you know, I'm not like completely new to the Mega Draft Challenge here. But I'm not spending another 50 gems just to <laughs> be on the zero. Back to square one, you know, not really uh, ideal. Let's just EQ this, I guess. Uh, we need damage. Our only direct damage is a minor EQ and zap, which... While can be good in certain situations, aren't really- Whoa, 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 Calm down, buddy. Let's go Miner in the back again, just because- Okay, I was kind of hoping, like, he wouldn't predict it that time, but, I mean, to be fair, he it did look like- Ooh, Firecracker shot, that's huge. With the Bomber Splash? Okay, wait, this isn't over. As long as I don't die to a Mini P.E.K.K.A., Eye Drag, Prince, or Ram, we're fine, which is a lot of things, but, you know. Uh, let's go Barks like this. 
Just in case he goes for a ram, then he'll get distracted. Come on, this should be enough, right? Nice, that's GG. Alright, so first match went fairly well, I'd say. I mean, what that one ram connect, and that was basically the only bad thing that happened, so... Overall, pretty good. Alright, first pick. Just to switch things up, let's take the wall breakers instead of the knight. Okay, he takes E-Dragon Poison, I'm fine with that. Let's go for the archers. And then... There is Tesla, but I want to go for a knight just because I feel like he's more likely to pick knight than Tesla. Okay, he picks E-Barns and Spear Goblins. Let's go for our Tesla. And then once again, Zap on Technicality. I think that's all the Evos available. I could be wrong, though. Alright, Auto Pick has picked everything, so... Again, unfortunately, I had to cut. <laughs> Something happened, but I did... I did let Auto Pick pick everything, so it's fine. Alright, let's see... What we've got here, let's see what Daniel has for us. You know, he's bringing back the past, bringing back 2003. Only a few years after that tragic... Okay, he's gonna just random spam e Barnes and uh, Miner back. Um, pretty interesting play there. Don't know if I really agree with it. I should have played the E-Spirit a bit earlier to... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Get, you know, get the actual electric ability off. But it's fine. Those are bad Spear Goblins, that's not gonna kill my queen. And I could pop the build to be annoying, but I don't think I will just because there's not really a reason to. It's not going to get, like, enough damage to matter. I think I would have got one shot, maybe. Like, I could be wrong. It, either it would have been one or two shots, but if it was two shots, it might have mattered. But I just don't think it would have. Also, he played a bad poison just because he missed the first fire spirit, which I'm not complaining about, but just point that out. Uh, let's put wall breakers here. Just Okay, he's going to go monk. I don't really know. What, okay, he's going to have this for this first. Um, so well, he spent 8 elixir there, so he's down a decent chunk. He can't just spam e burns again, at least, at least not right now. Uh, let's just go Tesla here. Don't want to waste elixir, and also don't want to play Queen or Archers to give him monk value. I don't really see a reason from the pop the ability. Yeah, I didn't think he's going to. Okay, e drag the back. I can't... Oh, no, this guy did have poison, didn't he? But he just used it on the uh, furnace, so we should be fine. And he played his e drag after the monk died, so he didn't get any 3-card cycle there. He's just going to randomly spam again. Again, you do you, I guess. Not really sure about the thought process here. Going to play some beautiful defense there. Unfortunately, the Archer Queen does get hit. Oh, let's see what he wants to do. Cannon, that was pretty bad. I'm just going to go ahead and spam Archers now. Okay, this guy is just messing up. Uh, let's pop our ability now. This should just take the tower. I shouldn't even have to worry about it. Well, the wall breaker should get there in time before the king tower pops up. And yeah, he's just going to give up. Honestly, fair enough. I, I, I don't know what he could have done. <laughs> After he overspent on his uh, offense there, like, nothing would have happened. Then he just wasted the spear goblins and cannon all. Hello? <laughs> um, did you not just poison my tower? Like, did I miss something? Is that like a sign of dominance? Like, I... Hello? <laughs> uh, alright, so he's not giving up, I guess, even though he poisoned my King Tower. Man, just stop. <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, let's pull the back to E-Barns with the Wall Breakers. Not too sure what this guy's trying to do here. Uh, he's trying to pull some shenanigans over me. But it's not happening. He's not pulling the rug over my eyes. Let's pull back the E-Barns with the Wall Breakers again. I do miss one, but it doesn't matter that much. We're gonna 3-crown this guy anyway. Uh, I'm not sure what he was trying to do, but GG's, I guess. Alright, in the next match, so I guess for our first pick, let's take the Larry's. Alright, he's going to go for Log Monk, not exactly what I want to see, but it should be fine. Uh, let's choose the Knight, and then the Tesla. There goes Bomb Tower Cannon Cart, looks like he's actually building a deck, which shouldn't be allowed, but it's fine. Uh, and then let's go for Recruits. And we're going to go for Zap. He goes Hunter Mother Witch. Let's go Mortar. And then let's go Wall Breakers. Alright, so there's no more evolutions. So we have to wait for the game to ultimately decide my fate. And we get the Phoenix. Not bad, not bad. And he picks Barrel. Could be kind of rough. Could be kind of rough. Also... Uh, you might be wondering, like, hey, why didn't you say, oh, like, Evo Zap is another technicality? Well, that's because now when I'm recording this, <laughs> the Evo Zap is actually out now. 
So it actually does count now. So I mean, I don't know if that really validates the one from before, because it was before it was, you know, released, but you know, Evo Sops out now, so. You know? It it counts now. Okay. Um he may pop the ability. Let's try and catch this bark barrel. Unfortunately we don't. That is gonna send back one mortar shot, I believe. Wait, it's not, it's not, it's not. Come on, nice. Okay, we're gonna get a lot of damage here. This is really good. We kind of need that damage, like, desperately, because we do not have the means to, uh, get damage consistently. Let's block this pick off. Nah, I, I was hoping it wouldn't get the one hit, but, I mean, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's go for our Phoenix. Unfortunately, it's on the cannon card. That's not what we needed. But, I mean, what do we, what do you do? Uh, kind of bad Larry's actually. Eh, not the worst. Um, this should be fine. He's not gonna have to do anything, so... Unfortunate, but okay. Let's just go ahead and zap this. As long as the barrel pressure doesn't get up to me, I honestly think I can win this. See what he wants to do. He's probably gonna wait. That there's no way that sh that should not have blocked that bark barrel. That should not have blocked that bark barrel. I don't care if I'm getting scammed. I don't care if you're getting scammed. A scam is a scam, and that should not have blocked. I'm not sure why that timing worked, it really shouldn't have. So, uh, it's kind of unfortunate for this guy, like, we'll take it, obviously, but... <laughs> I, I kind of feel bad, because, uh, he did not deserve for that to happen. Also, let's just go Wallbreakers over here. It's gonna force him to do something, uh, because that's a little bit of damage that he's gonna take if he doesn't. Alright, there we go, Wallbreakers explode everywhere. Um, I guess I can just go Mortar again. Uh, I just kind of distract him from going Barrels, yeah, kind of like that. Let's just Zap. Take minimal damage. I don't know if, I think the hunter got down in time. Okay, that did, unfortunately. We're just gonna go ahead and phoenix on top of this. Block some of the damage from the hunter. Unfortunately, it's not really gonna be enough. Let's go Tesla to block the piggies. Mortar gets one more shot on the Mother Witch. I mean, not too sure if I'd put my balls on her, but hey. Everyone has a preference, no judging. Uh, he's gonna go for the Goblin Barely. Places it in a bad spot though, so I can just go for Larry Sap and easily defend it. He's probably going to go for a Monk again, so we have time to go for my recruits to block Hunter or Bomb Tower. <laughs> okay, nice, that works too. I think we're going to go... No, why would you log? Nah, you can. We'll let it on the left tower. Um, so yeah, this isn't going to get a connection, unfortunately. Unless he just, like, doesn't defend it, but, like, pretty stupid. Yeah, unfortunately, that is not going to perish in time. Zap right there, perfect. I think I'm just gonna... I hate this guy. Why would you log that? <laughs> okay, he wastes his monk, though. Oh, uh, let's go recruit. He's probably gonna bomb tower. Okay, Mother Witch, that's what I meant to say. Mother Witch is gonna get obliterated by the mortar. Block the Bart Barrel. Nice. Almost a lock, but it's not. I just need to keep the pressure up. I need to keep the pressure up. I can never use my zap for anything but the barrel, and I have to keep this pressure up. Zap right there. We're slowly taking damage and taking damage, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, beautiful. Um, he's gonna go for the Bart Barrel, block it again. Unfortunately, we do not block it this time. Uh, let's go Wallbreakers. I swear, if he cycles the log for no reason again. Okay, at least it made, it made sense that time. Uh, no mortar connection for us. Again, we have to keep the pressure. I cannot let him uh, go for a barrel, at least, you know, not like that. Okay, uh, Phoenix, he might mother witch the Larrys. He's gonna go Monk for some reason. Okay. Let's go Recruits now. I need to go Larrys here. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think maybe stacking Phoenixes is the play? I have no clue, honestly. Wait, I think he overcommitted. Wait, I think he overcommitted on that, uh, barrel. Wait, he overcommitted, he overcommitted. The Phoenix, the Phoenix, the Phoenix, the Phoenix, Phoenix. The mere baby phoenix. The game, the wallbreaker takes it and brings it home. Brings it home to his loving wife and family. And they all just rejoice and sit down at the dinner table as they congratulate him on his victory. But that's not true because the wallbreaker actually uh, eliminated himself. So he didn't come back to his family. And he act they actually got a letter from the government saying that he unfortunately passed. And they're sorry to inform them that. Anyway, we won the match. So... 
hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you the day for the idea as always and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one and as always take care